Ito ang tunog at tinig ng UP College of Music, mga musika at kwento mula sa Abilardo Hall Auditorium ng UP Diliman. Pinagkakwentohan natin yung concert na naganap na pinamagatang Back Home with Mr. C and Friends. So itong mga musikong ito, mga experts na sila in their own fields. So ang, ang worry ko, bakit sila may inggan yung bumalik dito? Pero alam nyo, even for Mr. C or Ryan Kayabiab, kakaiba yung feeling na tumutugtog sa Abilardo Hall Auditorium. May certain standard na hinahanap dito at may certain types of repertoire na dito lang talaga nila may enjoy at matutugtog dahil siguro sanay sila sa mga concert venues sa labas na may mga demands na dapat ay siguro accessible sa audience, may popularity dapat. Pero dito pwede nilang balikan talaga yung mga musika na ini-enjoy nila at demanding para sa level nilang musicians. Kaya patuloy yung, yung interaction nila, tuwan-tuwa sila sa nagawa nilang uh, collaboration. Na siguro namimiss na rin nila yung ganong level of collaboration. Pero hindi lamang yung collaboration na yun, hindi lang technical eh. Hindi lamang dun sa music mismo, kundi yung personal level. Ganun ang importante sa music making. Ang music making is not just an act of producing pleasant sounds, no? But it's an act of interaction. It's a social act. At kadalasan, collaborative yung act na yon. Pag medyo sinaswerte, merong magic na nangyayari sa collaboration na yon. Hindi lamang dahil nagustuhan ng audience, hindi dahil lamang maganda yung na-produce na musika, kundi merong coming together of like minds and hearts uh, of these artists. I shall kiss a coconut. One, two, three. I shall kiss a coconut. Because it is the nipple of a woman. Because it is the nipple of a woman. Nipple of the what? Woman. A woman. Ito yung point nila. Ang tagal na itong point na ito. Ngayon sa kasi yan. Well, I learned almost everything here uh, from my professor then, Santiago Yanko, technique and everything. You see, professors make it easy for the students. Yang close relationship between teacher and student. Mahaba ang pinaghuhugot ang history niyan, lalo na sa arts at sa music specifically dahil master disciple ang setup napin dito, no? apprenticeship program. You know, they already know the hardships and the hard parts of, of how you can improve your playing. So they remove that aspect and they teach you what to do. So you're sort of like, it's already, they make it easier for you. Uh, now uh, uh, I'm a professor in St. Scholastica's College and I'm the cello teacher in the 
in the program called Ang Mission. Ang Mission has an orchestra and it's called uh, Orchestra of the Filipino Youth. Well, it was designed for indigenous kids and then um, we, we choose the best and we have a couple of satellites around the Philippines. And then uh, when they're advanced enough to be in the main orchestra, well, we, we hold auditions first and then we we'll see who is uh, qualified mm, to be part of the main orchestra. Well, for me, I think I've done a great part of my contribution the flute playing, as you can see with my students, the, the level of playing has really gone up. Pieces before that I would just dream of being able to play while I was still here, my students are all playing them now, for example. Like the pieces that I've learned in Paris, that was the time that, because it's not the country or the conservatory, the school that brings up the level, but the students, it's among you that you hear people playing like this and you have to to be like them or be at least you know you get this idea of playing better because like in Paris you don't get to graduate if you don't get first prize
na naming naisip na si Ryan Kayabiab o si Mr. C ang magiging tampok sa konsertong ito, medyo concerned ako dahil tatanggapin kaya ni Ryan ang offer na tumugtog muli sa Abelardo Hall Auditorium. Pero nawala naman lahat ng aking worries dahil agad siyang pumayag at siya pa mismo ang kumilala sa mga makakasama niyang mga artista o friends. At naging very magical moment sa kanila yung coming together, yung unang insayo pa lang, eh talagang parang homecoming. Makikita nyo yan sa mga susunod na eksena. One has to face the fact that you have to practice all the time. Yeah, pala, sorry. Pala. Oh, no, oh, sorry. Diba to sa mga, sa mga opera? Diba, 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 diba,
아페라 되는 거야. 형 알겠어. 我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，我是学生，
decisionship, eh, nakikita natin dalawang concerns. Yung concern nila na i-develop yung sarili nilang talento, yung sarili nilang skill. Kaya kung pianista ka, hours and hours ang ginagawa mo, mag-isa ka lang sa kwarto. <laughs> Pero hindi natatapos doon. Kasi interactive nga ang music, collaborative. So, kailangan nilang makipag uh, come together with other musicians in producing this uh, great works. Ano? Kaya two-faced, no? yung pag-develop ng sarili mo, sarili mong personality as a musician, and your ability to connect with people, with other musicians who have their own individual, unique identities as well. Ngayon, pagka nag-gel together yon, doon nangyayari ang magic ng music. So, um, we're performing probably now, and this used to be a, uh, you call that a piano trio or a cello trio? Ano ba Piano trio, okay. Piano trio, meaning uh, for violin, cello, and piano. Uh, and then, uh, after a few years, it turned into two pianos. The arrangements became the arrangement became two pianos. But for the first time, we were performing it as a flute, a cello, and piano. So what do you call it? <laughs> flute trio. What do you mean? What do we do? Millennial style. Uh, FCP. <laughs> FCP trio. FCP trio.
called Press on Rev. It's by 4A and it's a vocal piece. Uh, the English translation is After a Dream. It, it describes the, the feeling you get after you have, have this dream. So it's very, it's not clear what's happening. But at the same time, uh, the emotions in the piece are also mixed. Musical performance is out of the ordinary time. It's a certain realm. Pwede mo siyang ihawig sa ritual na lumalabas kayo sa ordinaryong pang-araw-araw na experience at pumapasok kayo sa kakaibang realm. No? Uh, sa realm na yon, yung mga hindi posible sa ordinaryong time, sa ordinaryong mundo, ay maaaring ma-imagine. It brings you out of this world. It brings you to the past. It brings you to a certain memory. It brings you to the future, to the world of things that are not possible. Kaya ganun ka importante ang field of music and performing in front of the community. When people can come together, they achieve a certain uh, dimension or they enter into a certain plane that is outside of the ordinary world. Pwede mo sabihin parang trance. May mga nagsasabi nga, ang trance, we experience that in, in different increments every day. And a good example of that is music. I don't really think about like the technicalities of my instrument too much. Like I don't think about the shift or or the fingerings anymore. For me, it's like a language. It's like you're 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 speaking. The cello is just another part of my body that brings out uh, the language that I want to. The brings out the, the words that I want to say in the performance. This is a time when you need to get lost. Uh, get lost in the music, but uh, when you're practicing, it's different. <laughs> The uh, 
Well, there's always uh, some different ways of approaching something. You call it like a, not really a problem, but um, because in music you have so many different interpretations. Uh, it could be perfectly wise, note wise, perfect everything, perfect technique, but it would sound still different from one player to another because of its interpretation. That's where the imagination comes in. What do you imagine? What do you, what do you see in the music? What do you hear? What do you feel? All of those are, are, are included in one, so, sort of like when you play, when you perform. Um, and my exposure when uh, I was studying here, in a, when I was studying in Paris, was it, it, it really, the, the, the fact that there, I saw lots of paintings, artworks, museums in, in, in Europe uh, and also here in the Philippines made you more sort of like artistic or more creative because you have all these artworks and art experiences that you put together to create your own. In a way, that's what music is all about. From all your experiences in life, you create something new. Yeah. But it's, it sounds new, it looks new, but it's actually a rehash of, of all your experiences in life. So itong mga artists na nga ito, si Tony Maigi, si Kit Navarro, si Jonathan Badon, si Ryan Cayabiab, at yung batang si Giancarlo Gonzalez, they have made their name no? in, 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 various, uh, in these various musical fields. No? But when they came together, they realized, wow, this is what we have been missing all along. Siguro, the act of coming back to home to the college of music and the back and and the and, and the occasion of coming together with your friends important yun eh when you play music meron kayong pinaghuhubutan kasi may pinagsamahan kayong uh, malalim and yet dahil nagkahiwalay-hiwalay kayo ngayon pagbalik nyo meron din kayong dalang kanya-kanyang ibang unique uh, ambag o unique contribution dahil nagbago ka na hindi ka yung kagaya ng Jonathan Badon na kilala ni Mr. Sinong Araw. Pero ito ngayon siya, uh, mga bagong maturity dahil sa long, um, uh, long years of performing uh, as an artist. Nakutuwan-tuwa itong, itong Mr. C and Friends na ito. Patuloy yung kanilang exchanges sa FB Messenger. Uh, nagkaroon na ng mga biruan and so on. At iniisip na, ba, kailangan itour na raw ito. <laughs> Yan ang iniisip nila. Kailangan nang itour. Sayang yung pagkakataon. No? Uh, well, hindi natin alam kung kaya ngang itour. Pero uh, that, I'm only sharing that with you. Kasi ibig sabihin talagang um, hindi lamang na-enjoy ng audience yung Mr. C and Friends coming together and great music. But more than that, na-enjoy ng friends na ito, ng performers na ito, and coming back home and offering their artistry to the community.
have not been a student here at the University of the Philippines, you know, maybe it was, it would, life for me would just be an ordinary one, ordinary in terms of, you know, it's not as adventurous as what I've experienced along the way. I would uh, advise them to, to just um, follow their passion, whatever their passion would be, uh, just, you know, um, go for it, be adventurous, try new things, and learning is, learning is not just when you're in school, you know, you learn even after school, even with, the, with your families and friends, you learning is, you know, keeps on coming. So um, always have an open, have, have open arms for those. Uh, it's not going to be like uh, what happens today, that everything is instant. If you take up music or you know, take up cello or whatever instrument, uh, it's important to realize that it's going to be a slow process. It's not all about emotions and passion. You really have to work hard with, of course, uh, the mechanics of your instrument, like technique. You need to practice for an eight, I don't know, eight, ten hours a day. You do that. The, uh, the competition in Paris before among students was so high that um, we would learn an etude, two to three etudes a week. Here, sometimes you will learn an etude for one semester. And you, in the beginning, you would think, oh, that's impossible to do. But then I had a classmate who would memorize all of them. <laughs> so, this, this, that's how you get to sort of like train yourself to do things. Nothing is impossible, really. If there is an opportunity, grab it. Because sometimes opportunity knocks only once. First, you have to think, you have to decide, and you stick to it. You stick to it, meaning you are ready to do whatever it takes. Dream high and don't give up. Yan, ang tunog at tinig ng UP College of Music kung saan tinignan natin ang mahika o magic na nangyayari pag ang mga artista at ang komunidad ay nagsama-sama sa isang espesyal na pagkakataon para maka-experience ng music. Music na hindi na nangyayari sa ordinaryong panahon kung kailan maaari silang mag-imagine o mag-alaala ng mga bagay 
Yan ang sinasabi nating mahika ng music. Abangan natin ang iba pang kwento at musika dito sa Tunog at Tinig.